Hi there, it's Suzanne from sunstampin.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and this how-to video is a tutorial for all my amazing customers who shop with me this month. This card kit will be sent to those customers who use the designated host code. When customers shop with me, they instantly get invited to a VIP Facebook group called Sun Social, where they'll receive extra special treatment. If you're not one of my customers, please enjoy this free video as an inspirational tutorial. And I would love to see you like, subscribe, and share. For this month's card kit, I am featuring the stamp set called Today's Tiles. I'm just using the greeting out of it, so any greeting that you have will suffice. The greeting says, just wanted to say hello. I am, I have chosen a cool neutral and a warm neutral, and I just wanted to showcase the In Good Taste designer series paper. I have strips there, uh, five strips per card, and I just wanted to feature that paper because it is pretty nifty. The ink that I'm stamping in is Night of Navy and it I would consider this almost a neutral as well. And you can see how well this color goes with both the warm and the cool neutrals. So I've stamped my greeting on this these little rectangles and I'll just push them off to the side. So this is Smoky Slate and then there's five strips of the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. You'll find that on page 148 of your annual catalog. Uh, and there's five strips per and also a quarter panel well four by five and a quarter sized piece of whisper white stamping white paper and I am just using this for the card front uh, of course if you have some whisper white paper that you want to put on the inside of the card that would be lovely as well but it's not needed seeing as how both of these neutrals are uh, light enough that you can write on the inside without fear. All right, so once those panels have uh, been attached, I am, so I'm f all about random placement here. So I, I have five strips, I'm just gonna push them off to the side, and then I have the five strips again. And I did kind of choose for the warm, uh, warmer strips and cool co cooler strips but you know they are pretty much interchangeable so what I'm doing here is I'm flipping them upside down and then I'm going to apply adhesive to the back of them and then like I said I am just embracing uh, random placement because I think that when you place something on a card it looks better it's it, organically it looks better so you can see here I'm sort of uh, placing these items uh, the little strips and again just space them out some are cattywampus just did two at a time I uh, wasn't really paying too close of attention and you know some they're not cer they're certainly not straight but I certainly love this look all right, so my rectangles now have dimensionals on them. I'm going to, the, the trick that I learned was with my sentiment, as long as I sort of anchored it with a blue strip, it looked fabulous. So I wonder, yeah, I think it would look fabulous anyway, but that's what I kind of noticed while I was placing the sentiment. So that's my card kit for this month. Hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. 
click on the maple leaf for my blog, or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.